Hi everyone, we are off to see the wizard. Actually, we're off to see the thrift stores and the flea markets and see what we can find today. It's a rainy day, so it's a perfect day to go check out the thrift stores and be inside. Let's go see what we can find. At the flea market right now, it's an indoor flea market and it's open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which is kind of nice. And every week they have different items from different estate sales that they go and clean out. So a lot of their prices are high, in my opinion. Um, you can still make money on certain things, but you really have to know what you're looking for. We're in the book section, and I always look for jewelry books. That's one of the main things I look for. And all of these items in this next section seem like they've been there a long time and they have high prices on them and I don't know why they won't lower the prices to to sell the stuff. Need a blue sink? This bucket right here is a really cool bucket but I think it was 60 or 70 dollars. They have lots of soda bottles but none of them look really that old. This next set is a really nice blendo set, but for $25, I can't justify purchasing it. Curlers are always a good thing to pick up. I did end up with some of these, but I checked them all out. They only wanted $2 a box for them. I believe this is an air supply 8-track tape, which it depends on the 8-tracks. Some, If you get a whole big lot of them, you could sell them. I am not big into buying them in cassettes. I know nothing about film, but I know they are, there's money in some of them, and they wanted $4 a roll, a reel for this, so I don't think that's too bad depending on what movie it is. So I didn't know anything about them, so I just let them go. I've had several of these shoe shine boxes and sold them. Just wasn't in the mood to buy that this time. They sell for about $15-20. I know there's money in cassette tapes, but these looked pretty dirty and old and well used. If they were new or a lot cleaner, I might have taken a closer look at them. And this Tex Ritter, uh, it was a DVD, I think, or a, a movie. I knew nothing about it. It's vintage and a Roy Rogers thermometer. I, I was thinking of pulling it out, but I was just not in a buying mood, I guess. The 
this particular picture I took a closer look at because it's actual layered wood pieces. This person took a lot of time to make that thing. We are now at Goodwill and I always like looking through the Christmas items to look for um, anything vintage and even Halloween stuff. Um, if I, I'm hoping I can find something good. It looks like most of this stuff is newer. Here's some cute little Halloween pumpkins, but they're newer and they look like they were hand painted. This little piece of pottery is always nice. You can tell it was handmade on a, on a wheel. See the ribs inside and you can see them on the outside. They wanted $3 for it. It probably is a 15, 12 to $15 item. That angel back there was vintage, which I think I missed. And this rooster, I just sold a really cool rooster and I just wanted to double check to see if this had any kind of name brand to it, but it didn't. And religious items always sell, but for $2, people are practically give them away. I usually wait till I have a lot of religious stuff and then I sell them together. And this elephant I thought was wood carved, but it was like real lightweight, like cardboard almost. You always have to check the name on these. This was made in China. Clowns are always something I always look at, but I can tell that one was vintage, but it's kind of scary. Everybody's afraid of clowns. I shouldn't say everybody. This is a nice West Bend crock pot that I actually wanted for myself, but they wanted $15 for it at Goodwill. I would have bought that if it was a lot cheaper. And look at these pineapple lights. $12 a box. Really? Goodwill's prices are crazy. I would have bought them if they were about three dollars at the most. They would probably sell for fifteen a box. Here's an Atari flashback, which I don't know anything about video games other than what I played when I was a kid. And this looks like one of the ones I played with as a kid in a new version. And it's got the two controllers and the game console, but I'm not sure if it came with games or anything. It looks like it came with some, yeah, it did come with games, but they weren't in there, so I just passed on it. That was plastic. Now I always, and I always look for Pampered Chef Pots because I have a set and I absolutely love them, and I'm sure other people do too, but that was not one. I'm not having a whole lot of luck here at Goodwill. This was very cheaply painted. Two mugs stood out stood out to me and of course they were Starbucks mugs but three bucks a piece maybe a ten dollar mug of course I have other um, Starbucks mugs in my in my stash and I haven't been selling them the shoes was just about impossible. There was nothing that looked decent at all. 
They all look so worn. These were in much better condition, but I've never heard of the brand. stopped on these because I seen Edelman and Sam Edelman is a good brand of shoes but not this Libby Edelman. These Lucky Brand jeans I usually pick up along with Miss Me jeans if I see them but look at this pair of jeans it is so worn out in the crouch and what did they want $12.99 I think for a pair of lucky brand jeans Then we have this old, wore out pair of yoga pants for $10.49. Has a hole in it. And look what brand it is Dan Skin. You've got to be kidding me, Savers. That's ridiculous. I did go and look at all the coats. Of course, I'm going the backwards down this aisle. And I usually look for Carhartt jackets, vintage coats, kind of like this one would have been good, but it had a um, college name on it. And I look for Levi's jackets. Unfortunately, there was not any good coats. Here's a Tommy Hilfiger coat, nice coat. They want $25.99 for it. Got a nice patch on one side and a hole on the other side. The yellow hood, ridiculous price. Here's some more Lucky Brands for $13.50. They're in pretty good shape, but $13.50, really? There's no room left on them. Well, I just got out of Savers. We went to Goodwill and, and then Savers, and I got out of Savers after maybe two hours and came out with about six items, and now it's sleeting. And as you can see, and hear it hitting the windows, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep shopping, but I do need to go to my accountant and to Michael's yet, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I may end up going home and I have a 25 minute drive home yet. So we'll see. So here's the six items that I got right here. Let's start with this big blanket. This is a Walt Disney World blanket. As you can see, it's got Mickey real big on it. It's got Epcot Center and it's got the Magic Castle. And what is it called? Something Kingdom? Not United Kingdom, is it? Yeah, I think it is. This says Walt Disney World and Disney underneath. This was priced at $6.49 so my price because I had a 20% off coupon was $5.19 plus tax and then I got these jeans which are Miss Me jeans for $10.99 surprising that I even found Miss Me I never hardly ever see them And I'm not up to date on what clothing is selling, but clothing was 30% off, so I thought I'd at least look through the jeans and the coats. I always look for Carhartt coats or Levi's jackets or um, Miss Me jeans is one, but I'm not up to date on anything new, newer than that. So it was $10.99 plus 30% off plus tax. So I think they're about $7.69 with, I think it's about 9% tax. Then over here, we got this bowl for 4.99. dollars 
it was intriguing when I first seen it. it had this nice little handle I love the the pattern on this I know that the certain types of bowls with this pattern sell well and this looked like almost like a measuring cup but I looked it up it, it when I turned it over it's solid it is a it is definitely clay it's not made in China um, it's hard to read but it's it's a B Bennington ben, Bennington Potters is what it is and it wasn't made in 1879 it looks like that's just probably the, their established date but what a nice piece and they only had $4.99 on it shocker so I, I got it for 20% off which brings it down to about $4 so that was a good find. I'll probably be able to sell that for about 25 or 30. This is a nice little, I guess it's a, it could be a soap dish. It could be a butter dish. I'll have to look it up, but it looks more like a butter dish. But it's the Delft Blue. It's definitely the Delft Blue. Um, I had to take the tag off to read it, which says $4.99. That's what I paid, plus the discount, so it was about $4.00. Nice piece, no chips, but they were at Savers were putting out a lot of stuff. They were rolling carts out left and right, which I hardly ever see. And there was hardly anybody shopping today, which was good because it was so bad outside. And then this piece, I seen her put it up on the shelf, and that's probably the only reason I got it. Because it would have been gone by some reseller easily. It is Embry number one little air pilot, um, keros not kerosene lantern, but a oil lamp. As far as shape, yeah, it's a little tarnished or it's not rusty, except I guess there's a couple spots of rust, but it's not bad. And for, I expected it to be more. It was $6.99 my price plus 20% off, which would make it about $5.59. And then at the flea market, this is the only thing I bought. I, I like to go there and look for their jewelry, but they were sorting all their jewelry at the moment, so I couldn't look at it. But they had three boxes of curlers, and I only bought one because I have a couple listed, and they're taking longer to sell. But I had some of these listed, and they sold within a week. So I'll probably sort them by color and maybe sell them individually by color. That will probably be the best route. And they don't sell for a lot, but if I sell each package for 12 to $15, then I've got, there's four colors in here. So there's four of them, and I could make easily $60, and I paid $2 for this box. So let's just say I even made $40 and sold them for $10 a pack. That's still a good deal. All right, that's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some things that you might be able to find when you're out and about and make your trip worthwhile. I spent a lot of time out today for six items. So... Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe.